So, one more item in my favorite tradition of pulling things far apart only to slam them back together again. I've pulled many things apart. i pulled HTML and XML apart and slammed them back together again. i pulled relational databases and XML structures apart and slammed them back together again. Now let's take access structures and information types themselves. First, fully pulled apart and hopefully by now they are pulled apart. You see information types as the items of information, as the kinds of information that we want to deliver, and access structures as the organizational mechanisms that we use to deliver that information. Two very different kinds of concepts. But now let's put them back together again. When we have an information type, how do we organize the parts of that information type? Don't we use a hierarchy? Haven't we been using a hierarchy? Haven't we been saying that the information type is a top-level element and all, the, uh, and all the parts of that information type are elements under there? Haven't we used hierarchies to define those information types inside of schemas? So is there really any difference fundamentally between the hierarchy that brings items together and the hierarchy that is within an item? You can see that a hierarchy is a consistent structure that goes between items and then within items. We can, always, we can also use hierarchies at a higher level to create, uh, to create collections, of, collections of collections of items. So we can have a hierarchy all the way up, 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 up from, from items of information to collections of those items to collections of the collections to collections of the collections of the collections. And we can have that hierarchy all the way down into the elements of the information type. We can continue that hierarchy down into the into the, the what we've been using what we've been calling just text nodes into the content itself to try and find hierarchical semantic relationships inside a sentence, for example. So the idea of an access structure is not once you've understood it is not only a way of organizing items; it's also a way of organizing the information in an item. And in the end, it's a very arbitrary distinction that we make between what's in the information item and what's above the level of the information item. What's organizing information items and what's organizing the content inside an information item.